hello viewers welcome back to my channel in my previous video i showed you how to do the very basic square in kutch work now i'm going to show you how to do this uh, basic motif in uh, kutch work so that you can use the uh, basic motif along with the mirror work and uh, start using it in your projects you need not wait for any more uh, tutorials to start using it so here i have this basic square drawn this is the very basic uh, motif of kutch work i have come out on this side now i have to go here so the thread stays here now here when we are doing this see between this one and this one you select a center point and then from that point you bring it out at the corner of this box The thread is locked here now you go here again between these two you select a midpoint and bring it out here keep turning the frame so that you can comfortably work there's no need to not move the frame and do it uncomfortably now bring it out here after bringing it out over here now you have to move in this direction so take it between these two squares and bring it out here. Now when you move from here to here, what you will see is this thread, the vertical thread is above the horizontal thread. So this one has to go under. So this is the basic rule in cut work that your threads have to be over, under, over, under, alternating always. So here, now if you see in this box, I hope it is clearly visible, that this thread is coming over, this, thre this thread was under. Now here, this was over, so this has come under. That's all. That's the only thing that you need to remember in Kutch work. There's nothing more to it than this. Then again, go between these two, bring it up. And you have to remember to always keep the thread on this side so that it gets locked. The two basic rules of kutch work. Keep the thread here away from the needle so that it gets locked when you do it. And remember to put it over and under when you are passing on. Now for example, here if you see this horizontal line, there are four vertical threads. This vertical thread has gone underneath, this has gone above, this has gone above, so this in between one has to go from under, that's all. So now if you see, it is under, over, under, over. If this is correct, you will not go wrong in your kutch work pattern at all. All the patterns will only need this basic awareness of putting your threads over and under and also seeing to it that they are locked like this that's all now this version is the left handed version people who are right handed would also work in the same pattern just that I'm using my left hand since I'm a lefty here again you have to follow the over under principle so over so this has to go under now here if you see this is over under so this will remain over this is under so this is again go here and now coming back to the last one here again you see this this one was over so this has to go under and to finish the box you have to put this down and you'll bring it up very close to where we started so i'm going to bring it up here so basic frame of kutch work is done this is the basic frame and everything else, the filling will be done on the surface. Okay, 
so you have to come out from here put it under bring it here from this loop turn under this one now we have to go here see it gets locked if your under and over is correct your thread will get locked like this again under see it just gets locked that's how you should move forward If your under and over is not correct, then it will not get locked. So your under and over pattern should be correctly done. So I hope you are following what I am doing. So under, over, under, over. Now see this box is complete. This box is not complete but it will get completed when we return to that place. Now we have to move from this box to this box. So on the way the center box is also going to get filled automatically. So underneath and here. Turn. Under. See it gets locked. As it starts getting locked. The pattern coming all together and it looks beautiful in the end under I hope this camera angle is clear Do let me know in the comment section if you would like to see this video in either Hindi or Marathi. I can do that. Under, over, under. So this square is complete. See, this square is complete. Now when we move from this box to this box, another segment of the center square is going to get completed. Again, under. As a beginner, I'm sure you'll have immense pleasure when your thread gets locked <laughs> the way it should. If your under or over is correct and if your thread gets locked, you'll feel elated to begin with. I can guarantee you that. So this is now here. This motif works up really fast and all other motifs from here on will be just a combination of this. So it is not at all scary. Whoever thinks that, okay, now this is complete and we are moving to complete this last one. On the way, we are going to finish off the center one also. Whoever says that kach work is very tough and it is not meant for beginners, it is an advanced level stitch, it's nothing like that. It is very much easy and it is for the beginners as well. I am just going to uh, put the thread back in the needle and come back. I'll put the thread back in the needle. Now here I am going to put one down. Beginners, I request you to please try out this stitch, this motif. And enjoy doing kach work. You can even flaunt it to your in front of your class friends and tell them that see, I'm able to do kach work. It is not at all difficult. Okay, now if you see, we have to just finish it off. And for finishing also, we will take it under here. And remember that you have to always end at where you started. So this is, sorry. You have to end where you started. So this is the point where you had come up. So you put the 
after putting it from under this loop put the needle down exactly where you had come up and finish it off now go down and i will lock it behind if, since it is a surface level stitch there is nothing down here everything is happening only on the surface so this is the basic motif in kutch work i hope you will give it a try and i hope you will use it in your projects very soon if you do use it in your projects don't forget to send me feedback in the comment section thank you for watching